Hello again, Jay O'Keefe, another Sea Cucumber update. It's been a while, it's been a real long while. Well, it took a while for me to get back into working on this guy. Uh, I started focusing on the drawings and stuff again, and I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I got back into it, and uh, I've been working on it pretty consistently. Did fall sick for a little bit, um, and uh, but now I'm getting back into it. I uh, had to order some new eyes. Um, the other eyes that I had, the uh, cuttlefish eyes, uh, well, the, the actual image of the eye fell off the back of the plastic, and they were plastic, it turns out, which means that I can't really use them anyway. They probably would have turned all black in the oven. Um, so now... I got musky eyes, which is like some freshwater fish with like a long nose and sharp teeth, kind of like a gar or like a barracuda looks like. Um, and uh, that's that's appropriate because this this kaiju, uh, the sea cucumber, is supposed to feed off of like sulfur-rich mud. It kind of buries, it submerges itself and absorbs nutrients or whatever. So I don't know what these teeth are for. He's not a carnivore. Uh, but maybe defend himself, you know, he's a super monster, so he's, he's got all sorts of weapons you don't need, like the uh, plasma nipples, uh, you know, once he's fed off of lots of sulfur-rich mud somehow from these, you know, this volcanic mud flats, you know, somehow he gets these plasma rays that he can fire out of his nipples, and maybe his eyes, you know, like Godzilla. Uh, oh, Godzilla's a breathing, huh? Yeah, it was a breath, a radioactive breath, but anyway... You know what I'm talking about. You know, big kaiju monsters, they got all sorts of lasers and electrical and fire and, you know, toxic waste, whatever. They just spew everywhere. So, um, as they trample cities, this guy don't trample cities so much. He just kind of lives in the water. Anyway, getting off topic here. Let's try to keep this uh, brief. So, where'd I leave off? Um... Basically, this guy, yeah, he's getting close to being done. Except the face is giving me some, giving me some uh, trouble. I started working on the teeth, you know, after I got the new eyeballs in there, which were, I picked a little bigger because the last eyes were too small. Now these eyes seem a little too big. So you be the judge, you know. Uh, let's see, hold on. Mind the, mind the light there. Looks like a ghoulie, huh? I don't really know if I like that either. You know, I don't. I was never a big fan of those ghoulies, you know. Uh, and that, that guy's uh, special effects style. It's the teeth, I think, that do it, which are possibly a little too big. Uh, not positive, you know. Here, I baked the teeth today in the toaster oven, you know, like I do with the kids at school. Um, it's the only one left. There were 20, and uh, somehow he's got a odd number on the bottom, and even number on the top so they all fit together like you know puzzle uh but yeah just made them like this baked them and they had this so i could i made them hard so i could just jam them up into his gums you know Ugh. um and uh yeah so let's see yeah i'm doing do some details on the nipples i'll have them like a little wrinkly and you know i'll put i'll, I'll put some detail on them and, and some of these uh, last creatures, it just looks like, you know, the gloves of Mickey Mouse, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to make this thing more grotesque, you know, close up, you know, more warts and wrinkles and, uh, you know, crusties, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's it for, for this update. Any, any feedback, if any of you, uh, feel that watch this, uh, feel like writing me, you know, some feedback, that'd be great, you know, uh, if you like it, you, you, you don't like it, keep working on the face, uh, don't touch the face, you know, just, uh, let me know, you know, I can't wait to color this thing, too, uh, that, the color scheme's gonna be like the drawer and I just posted on Instagram, you know, so I'll have, like, a purple face, you know, it'll be kind of orangey-yellow, and, um, you know, purple veins, uh, it'll be, it should be pretty, it should be pretty good once it's all done. Uh, it's getting heavy, you know, it's like gotta be about 20 pounds. Uh, 
Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Close to it, anyway. And uh, it looks like he's, you know, he's lunging forward. He's kind of moving forward. He's chasing after people, you know, that are in his territory uh, or her territory, whatever it is. I don't know. Um, and uh, I keep thinking it might fall over. I was a little worried about these cracking, you know, when you put it down. But I think, uh, I don't know. I'm starting to think, you know, maybe I'll widen them up a little bit more before I'm done. And uh, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be okay. But definitely let me know what you think about the face. You know? Yeah, there you go. It was a different view of it. You know? Yeah, definitely let me know what you think of the face and stuff. Um, or not. I can, uh, I can handle it if, if, if I don't hear back from anybody. Um, I've been working on this thing enough, I know. So, I'm hoping to have it done sometime in April. You know, maybe by the end of April, I'll at least be working on the painting. Uh, so, thanks for tuning in, uh, and hope you're all well. Later.